patient in his mid-40s. Complains of sporadic episodes of dizziness, blurred vision, and bouts of disorientation. Conclusive testing will be possible with the use of a K540 specialized microscope. This equipment is not currently available at PVH. And I have no idea how I'm going to get it past David. But the patient's life might depend on it. blind working in the dark like that? Hey, well, now you really know how busy I am. <clears throat> you may even have time to turn on the lights. Mm. What brings you by, baby? Just hoping we could catch up. Well, if you can keep up, we can catch up. So I was thinking what we need Oh, to... Heather, listen, I need you to check in on Mr. Holland in 314. Make sure that he took his meds, because he's been putting up a fight. Oh, and Miss Sherman is going to be checking out, so if you could get her paperwork going for me. Oh, and, and Heather, one more thing. Could you please bring my wife um, bacon and eggs, scrambled, soft, orange juice, toast, coffee, please? I'll bet you anything you didn't eat dinner last night, right? Thank you, Heather. Angela... Yes, oh my God! You get you get more done before 8 a.m. than most people get done in a day. And it's still not enough. All right, sweetheart. Look, I am very sorry that I didn't check in last night. No, you don't. I have to apologize. Dr. Max, extension four five six. Detective Natalia, on the other hand. Oh no! Oh no! Natalia's dead. Jesse, I completely forgot. I should have been there. And being busy is is is, is, is no excuse. You know, it's just that ever since David has taken over this place, I mean, all I'm doing is running around just plugging up leaks. And there there is no time hey, for for hey, anything. Hey, 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 hey! Slow down. We love you. Your family adores you. And nobody understands better than we do that you are doing the very best you can. Well, I promise you that I'm going to make it up to both of you. Nothing to make up. Angela? Let's start over again. I, um, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have... I shouldn't have said that N Natalia needed an apology. She didn't. I, I, she's fine. I'm fine. Everything is fine. I promise. Okay? What, Angela, would you look at me, please? <laughs> Hello. Hello. You do believe what I just told you, right? Yes. I believe you. Good. Now... This is a private conversation? Wow. I know how you feel about me, but I thought you'd at least muster up a good morning. David. Dr. Hubbard. That would be chief to you. Well, I'm sorry to have to break up this personal time together, but I'd like a moment of your time alone, please. Later. Now would be better for me. Just one of the perks of owning the place. I believe my wife made herself perfectly clear. Sweetheart, I, I, I'm fine. You know he's not going to go away. I'll see you later, okay? Okay. Got to get to work anyway. Got to check in with my pals over at the NTSB. See if they learned anything new about Erica's mysterious plane crash. You might want to focus your attentions on some real crimes. You know, the ones that you can actually solve. I hear the mayor's a real stickler when it comes to results. Good to know. You know, I've got a million things to do. And not a whole lot of time to do them in. I want to know what's going on with you. In general? Or... You're not fooling anyone, Dr. Hubbard. Come with me. Hi, 
think it's pretty obvious what's been going on here. Despite my strict orders to economize, you've been spending money we don't have. And then burying the evidence where you don't think I'd find it. This evidence will help us save lives. Isn't that what hospitals are for? You know, I'd hate to burst your bubble, Dr. Hubbard, but this institution is not run on hopes and dreams. It takes money, resources, neither of which we have an abundance right now. You don't have to tell me about lack of resources. Do you have any idea what's going on around here? Your outrageous cutbacks aside, Operations canceled because we don't have supplies. Patients turned away when they clearly need help. We don't run a free clinic. You know, you may be saving on the dollars, but at the expense of the integrity of this hospital. You will never fully get the big picture, will you? Just like with that kid. What kid? The one who was brought in a few weeks ago with the head wound. Ramon Gutierrez. That kid passed out for no discernible reason. For all you knew, he could have had an infectious disease. But still, you didn't take the appropriate precautions. You rushed to his side. You, you risked everything by treating that boy. So what? What would you have me do? Stand by and do nothing? A child was sick. I mean, you still no should have been wearing some really gloves, so a mask. Oh, no. The room was not properly stocked. Again, thanks to your cut. The rule is, doctor, you first protect yourself. You need to get it together, Angie. As chief of staff, you have an entire hospital to run. You could have jeopardized everything by treating that patient. You're damn lucky there were no consequences. Not so fast. Oh, by the way, Angela feels terrible about last night. Oh, I know. She must be crazed at that hospital. You have no idea. All right, everybody, listen up. I believe we all know why we are here today. Perfect timing. What for? We are about to honor one of our finest for making detective. And since you are such a staunch supporter of my daughter, I thought you'd like to take part. Okay. Well, get on with it. Yeah, there's that strong support. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, uh, it means a lot to be here today. I'm sure I don't have to tell you that. You. You wanted this bad, and you busted your butt to get it. <laughs> 